Hi, this is Dr. Liang Gong Chen from Taiwan. I'm the professor of Center for Healthy Longevity and Aging Sciences of National Yangming Jiao Tong University, Taiwan. I'm also a clinical geriatrician working in the Taipei Veterans General Hospital. Today, we're glad to share our recent work that is published in Aging. And the topic is predicting the neuropsychiatric symptoms of older people with dementia using the facial recognition technology. As we all know that the burden of dementia care has increased substantially due to population aging. And the key to the success of dementia care is to early recognize the BPSD and provide appropriate care for those symptoms. The BPSD stands for behavior and psychiatric symptoms of dementia. That includes some positive symptoms like agitation, aggression, and some negative symptoms like depressed or, ap or apathy. And it has been reported that about one third of the healthcare expenditure related to dementia care are spent in the management of BPSD. So the key of managing the BPSD is dependent on how we early recognize those symptoms and provide necessary individualized non-pharmacological approach to those symptoms and also trying to reduce the use uh, of antipsychotropic drugs for the long term. And that would be very, very challenging in a long-term care setting because uh, in a long-term care setting, usually there will be the non-professional caregivers are taking care of those people with dementia. And they need very special training to properly identify BPSD on their own. So we're hoping to identify some way to help improve the quality of care in the long-term care setting through the modern technology. So it has come to our mind that probably we can use the facial recognition technology. It has been reported that through the facial recognition technology, we'll be able to identify uh, the mood, different moods and potentially the uh, cognitive function of an older person. Then we're thinking well, probably we can use this technology to identify the, the BBSD for those uh, people with dementia in the daycare center. So we conducted our research in the daycare center in the Taipei Veter Veterans General Hospital. And that is a relatively small daycare center and more focused on the research and, and education purpose. And uh, overall, the overall capacity of the daycare center is about 30. And uh, about 23 of them participated in this study after the informed consent and the RRB uh, documents. So uh, we decided to use the camera on the ceiling to capture their uh, facial expressions in their daily activities. And we're thinking whether we can be able to capture their, uh, their features of their facial expressions so that we can identify the BPSD. You can see that uh, the camera is located on the ceiling at the entrance. We have tried different cameras on the ceilings, but because those uh, older people, they are walking around, sometimes the camera are not able to capture the best uh, quality of the imaging. And the camera located at the entrance is probably the best location because it captures their uh, front face every day. So that we can have more uh, images with better quality to generate the, the prediction model. And then we use this uh, camera to capture all their uh, uh, face, their, their, their facial expressions every day when they come to the daycare center. And we uh, have tried several different ways to build up our model uh, because it needs a lot of image data to generate a prediction model and that we don't have the size of images. So in the first step, we use the uh, open data source uh, using the 100,000 uh, open data source of the, the faces of different age, sex, and uh, different mood facial expressions in the open data set. And also using the data set to generate our prediction model to predict uh, their seven major facial expressions like sadness, happy, neutrality, or anger. And then 
we use the uh, publicly available uh, algorithm that has been developed to uh, predict the different moves uh, through the facial through the facial expressions and to validate whether our prediction model is uh, uh, very effective. Then through this uh, confusion metric, you can see that the model we developed is very uh, successful. That is uh, highly compatible with those uh, algorithms developed in the public domains using a lot of uh, imaging data. So we're quite comfortable with the, uh, the first algorithm to uh, capture the facial expressions and to differentiate the different mood expression of the older people. So we move on the second step that we uh, try to collect the data from the daycare center. And um, through two, uh, the two stage uh, approach, uh, because we have only limited data sources, data resources. So uh, in the first stage one, we only uh, include six participants of the daycare center and using their energy to generate a model uh, based on the previous developed um, algorithm predicting the facial expression in different moods. And we use that algorithm to predict the MPI. Uh, that is the questionnaire used to uh, define the BPSD. So it is uh, with a total score from zero to 30. And um, so using the, the stage one sample, that is a six participant, and to generate a prediction model using machine, machine learning to predict MPI using the previous algorithm. And uh, of course, we've been through the feature extraction and the feature engineering process, and we've got a very good um, prediction result. But because of the limited sample size, then we're thinking, we should uh, use another sample for the external validation. So then move to the stage two. We uh, include another 17 uh, subjects in the daycare center and trying to uh, develop and validate whether the algorithm uh, really captures the important features of the older persons with dementia and their BPSD. So we did find it is also a very good and very well validated uh, algorithm that can successfully identify the BPSD through predicting the MPI scores. And that result would be very uh, important because um, uh, that is not just a deep learning algorithm. It is a machine learning base in the second part of the study. So that we can try to ident to capture the feature of the facial expression, whether it is because of sadness or the happiness or the amplitude between the mood changes. So those features will help us to uh, see whether uh, those features are reliable in the clinical practice. And uh, we have done further analysis to see uh, whether we did identify the potentially explainable uh, features, and that is very successful. And we did identify each features from the, in, the individual uh, mood expression through the transition or the changes between different moods or the amplitude of each mood. That is highly correlated with the MPI total score. So it is um, uh, interesting and important finding and also shows the, uh, the, the reliability of our model. And then we move on to see what's the main differences between the predicted MPI score and the real uh, assessed uh, MPI score uh, in the daycare center. And overall, in the total 0 to 30 MPI scores, the uh, predicted differences is only about 3. Uh, score something. So it is around 10%. That is pretty satisfactory to help us knowing whether we have successfully identified the people with dementia, they are suffering from uh, BPSD. So that we can do uh, the individualized care plan to re relieve their symptoms and to relieve those may causing all the, um, all the sufferers or their mood uh, distress 
to all those older people with dementia. And we're thinking this is a very important approach in the long-term care setting to identify uh, BPSD for dementia subjects that we can improve the quality of care in the long-term care setting. And this is our uh, finding, and uh, we're very glad to let you know that the current work has been successfully become a commercial product that is uh, supported by the Acer company that has becoming um, a product that can be uh, purchased and used in the daycare center or even uh, using at other long-term care settings. We're still improving our algorithm. So hoping that in the future, we're able to share more research work with you. This is Dr. Lan Gong Chen from Taiwan, uh, from National Yangming Jiao University. Thank you.